Hey, it's Tammy with oh, It's All About the Dogs, and I'm here with Noelle Blair at Positive Directions Canine Academy. We're going to be talking today about how to get rid of skunk smell. Yes. And we brought Lucy. Lucy's a little border collie mix, and she is very odiferous a lot of the time. So, <laughs> but we're not going to actually bathe her. We're, we've got her in the bathtub just to show you. Yes. Yes, yes, so, yes. So, Noelle, I, I know there's a lot of home remedies that are on YouTube and on the internet about, you know, how to get rid of skunk smell, but those aren't always the best, right? Well, you know, I think that probably the most popular one that you're going to find on Facebook is the tomato juice with the peroxide and yeah, vinegar. And that's that kind, kind of the thing. one I've seen. And um, that's meant to neutralize the odor, but I haven't found that it's really that effective. Um, I did 10 years as a groomer, so wow. yeah, when we would get skunk dogs in the grooming shop, we used um, something called Fast Orange. This is a hand cleaner for mechanics and it gets rid of grease. It's actually got a pumice in it that will help um, work all of that grease and stuff out. The anal glands um, of a skunk produce this oily gunk. And the only way to get rid of it is to get rid of the oil. So um, we do need to do something that's going to cut through the oil to get through to it. And then we're going to um, have to restore the coat by giving a regular um, bath. So we're going to use our regular shampoo and conditioner. Now, um, when you first put this on the dog, what you're going to do is put it on with a dry coat. So, um, and you really want to focus on where the dog got hit. Okay. And you don't want to get it in their eyes no. or anything on their face. So. Right, and the reason we put it on dry is so that it doesn't rinse into their eyes and that kind of thing. Gotcha. Okay. Now, if they get um, sprayed in the face, <laughs> ooh, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, your dog's eyes are going to be swollen shut and they're just not going to feel very good. So you can still use this, just be careful about not getting it into their eyes. And you're probably going to need to get a sterile saline solution to uh, rinse out those eyes. Okay. Okay. Now most people put shampoo and conditioner on their dog incorrectly. Um, the way that we're going to do this is you're going to start with the dry coat. You're just going to put it in your hands, rub your hands together, and then you're going to work it or massage it into the coat. And believe it or not, your dogs really do love that massage part. Oh yeah. And this is a gel. It's a gel and I got it at the auto parts store. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you can get it on Amazon. We'll drop a link down below so you can buy it there if you don't want to go to an auto parts store. <laughs> but this was like four bucks at the auto parts store. You can get a big one. Mm -hmm. and, and I know it's the season. A lot of people are going camping and their dogs are getting sprayed. So. They are. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. how do you put that on? So you're going to put it in your hands. You're going to rub your hands together and then you're going to start somewhere on the dog. So I would start here and I would just start massaging and rubbing it into the coat all the way down to the skin. Um, what we don't want to do is we don't want to scratch with our fingernails. So we're going to use just the tips of our fingers and we're just going to rub it into the coat and we're going to get everywhere. So maybe your dog got sprayed here. We're not just going to put this here. We're going to put it all over the dog because that scent travels. Okay. Okay. Um, then you're going to want to let it sit for 20 minutes at the least and up to an hour. Then you're going to put the dog back in the tub and we're going to rinse all that off. Okay. okay, what's the bath puff for? The bath puff is, as you're rinsing, um, you can get this wet and it's going to sluice or get all of the, um, that product off. The next thing is, um, after you've washed all of the fast orange off, um, we're going to give the dog a bath with the regular shampoo just to get rid of any residue that might be left behind. Okay. okay? Um, and when you do that, you don't take your shampoo and just squirt it on the dog. What do okay. you do? You actually everybody does that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got all this soap concentration right. back here, and it's going to take you hours to rinse to all get of that, that out. out. Yeah. yeah. So um, you put the soap actually in your wet bath poof, and um, you're going to bathe using your poof. So you're just going to move it around. What I like about this is it's going to make your um, shampoo dollars stretch because you're not going to oh, use nearly as much. Because you're just putting the shampoo on this. Mm -hmm. So it's trying so, to put it all over the whole dog. Exactly. If I was putting this on the dog, I would put a big squirt in, and then I'd rub it in, and then I need more, and so I'm going to grab more and put it in. I can use that one squirt, and I can wash the whole dog. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. You should always um, wash, rinse, repeat the wash, and then condition your dog's coat. doesn't matter what kind of coat your dog has. Um, what you're doing is you're conditioning the skin, not the coat. Okay, so and don't a lot be worried of, about making it too soft. You were talking about scratching. You, what does that do when you scratch when you do your fingernails on the dog? What that does is it stimulates um, the skin, which is great, but 
it also scrapes all the oils off of your dog's skin and the uh -huh. oils are what keeps your dog from itching. So if you're bathing too much or you're scratching all those oils off, your dog may act like they're really super itchy after a bath and you may think, oh my God, my dog's got allergies. I need to have a special shampoo. And really it's probably not the case. What you've done is you've just stripped the skin of all the oils. When we take a shower and we get out, we've done the exact same thing, but we put lotion on. Right. If you don't put lotion on after a bath, especially in Colorado, you yeah, can feel right. <laughs> dry, your skin starting really to crack dry. within 20 minutes. So we have to put um, a layer of protection on our skin. And it's basically the same thing. We're protecting that layer of protection against the dog's skin. So by natural brushing or massaging, you distribute those oils throughout the dog's body and it will keep the coat nice and, and um, clean and fresh and, and shiny. Um, but the biggest thing is that you don't take your nails and get in there and scrub. Good to know. I always learn something new. I always learn something new with Noelle. <laughs> so if you want to learn something new from Noelle, we're going to drop a link to Positive Directions Canine Academy. Go visit her website. Go visit her YouTube channel. Yes. And uh, we will be back with more tips. Awesome. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great day.